So today I'm going to be making a video on using like asset libraries and uh, I guess pre like set up libraries of props from the game or custom ones if you have them uh, for interiors. So I mean this can work for like exteriors too, but it's not as easy I guess you could say. So uh, let's say you wanted to add like a table and chairs here. Uh, first, what you're going to need to do is I'll leave a link to, to mine in the description. And once you download it, just go to your preferences, and then go to file paths, and go to asset libraries here, and click the plus, and then set the path to the folder that the blend files are in. Then you can like split your window like this, and open up the uh, where is it asset browser, and on the left here you can change to the uh, group or whatever, and you can search. So let's say we wanted a table. We can go ahead and just add in, let's say this one. And let's say we wanted a chair along with it. We can go and copy this one here, put it behind. I'm just going to rotate it. And I'm going to add like a PC and monitor or something on the front, or on the desk, I mean. Let's say this is what you were happy with, and now what you have to do is... Just make sure you don't change the origins or anything about the mesh because then it won't be aligned like perfectly as to what it looks like in Blender. So with that being said, what you do is just select the props, go to your Y type, then your interior, then go to the entities. Uh, what I usually do is I select all for a single room and then you can change the filter to room and then filter by the room that it's in. So this would be front, and then you can just click add with all your props selected. And they'll all be added to the front room. And let's say you don't want these to move because you don't want like fall over or whatever if someone hits it. I think some of these will be fragments. So let's say you wanted this chair to not move. Find the chair that you added, and then go to the flags and just set it to a static. I'm going to do the same for the uh, monitors. Then uh, now we can just go ahead and export our Y type. And in CodeWalker, you can just go ahead and import the XML. And then now we can just restart CodeWalker and then make sure we generate our manifest. You'll see here our props are in place. Now we just need to generate the manifest like this. Click generate and then save it. And that's really it. I recommend doing in props in Blender as it's a lot easier and you can position them way more accurate and quicker. Also I add a lot more of them. So just with that being said, I uh, hope you enjoyed and found this video useful.